Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about how to be productive, how to stay motivated and basically just how to be that girl, the trend that you've probably seen all over TikTok, Instagram and Pinterest and everywhere. And my interpretation of this trend is not necessarily to be just constantly perfect, but rather just to be the best version of you and live your best life. So I'm gonna give you lots of tips on how to just be productive and how to keep your motivation up to get work done every single day and just how to get the most out of all of your days. So yeah, let's just get started. So the first thing I do in the morning is to wake up and immediately make my bed. This gives me a form of accomplishment right after getting up and it makes the room feel clean and fresh for a new day. Also make sure to clean the other parts of our bedroom if there is any mess and I basically live by the rule that if a task takes less than five minutes I do it now. This gives me little accomplishments throughout the day to keep me motivated. In the morning I also like to do a little bit of self-care. This can be taking a quick shower, doing your skincare routine or putting on a face mask. For an example, my favorite thing to do is to put on a sheet mask that I have on for the first 30 minutes of my workday. I also really like to do my nails once a week since it just makes me feel really put together and like I take care of myself. On to the next step, which is to be setting up a mood for your workspace. This will give you a feeling of calmness and renewed energy that again will make you actually want to spend your time here. So what I like to do is light up a scented candle and have some flowers on my desk. And this does not need to be expensive. So living with ADHD, my mind always wants to do everything but the thing I'm supposed to be doing, which is really hard, but having a good timetable or schedule truly helps me stay focused. So I created my schedule digitally in pages on my iMac, which works really well for me since it's easy to change the things throughout the day. So the main things I put in there are all the different work tasks, I plan when to take breaks and also when to eat. I also have a notebook that I always leave on my nightstand where I can sort of plan my day the night before and then I can change it and sort of put in more specific details on my iMac. I design a notebook for myself that I have with me everywhere I go and this gives me the opportunity to note down ideas everywhere, anytime and keeping it in the same space. I like to work for about an hour before I eat to be finished with the worst part first and then breakfast can be a motivation to keep working which is why I recommend spending a little extra time to make something inspiring. 
On to the next tip, which is to get fresh air during your breaks. For short breaks, this can mean going out to pick up your mail or taking a short walk. Whereas for longer breaks, it can be to take a walk to your nearest coffee shop or going out to just see some nature. This will give you a lot of energy and it's always good to get that vitamin D from the sun. The next tip is to make your devices be productive and aesthetically pleasing for you, like organizing your apps in a better way or having a background that make you feel inspired. The last tip for the workday is to have working zones. This means you have a dedicated place to work and leaving this place when you aren't gonna be working. This will make sure to put your mind in a productive state when spending time there. Onto when your work or study day is finished, I recommend to be active and reward yourself with doing something you enjoy. This can be going shopping, maybe going out biking somewhere, having a picnic with your friends or making something extra good for dinner. I also think it's really important to work out. I, for an example, like to work out in the gym maybe three times a week to have that extra energy every day when waking up and also getting that feeling of accomplishment. Plus, when you spend your entire day working or studying just sitting indoors, it can feel so good to just move your body and exercise. Before you go to bed in the evening, one of the best things you can do is go for a little walk. This will both give you some fresh air and you will use a little energy before you lie down, which will help you fall asleep a lot faster. It's also really nice to feel like you have done one more thing before the day is over, plus maybe even catch the sunset on your way. Where did you come from? I never planned to fall in love But then again, no dies Can I call you tonight? I'm dying to see your smile I just wanna say I got you right on to the last part of the video, which is your weekly tasks, like for an example having a cleaning day. I love spending my Sundays to clean our apartment, wash laundry, or maybe clean out my closet since it gives such a great and fresh start to the new week. On a weekly basis, I also recommend to go grocery shopping and maybe do some meal preparations for the week. It can also feel really good to go for a longer hike to sort of reset your mind. I also love to do my nails once a week and maybe buy some fresh flowers for my home at the supermarket to kind of treat myself and make it feel extra nice at home when I wake up every day.
And that's a wrap on today's video. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So thank you for watching and have a great day. I hate the